the number one priority was to make a world that people wanted to be in. Something that you want to go back to and you want to explore and to have enough variety where you never get bored. We take you to a lot of places, you see a lot of things, there's a lot of strange creatures and strange monsters and beings and ships and worlds. You can go from Earth to Venus to Mars to the Moon to Saturn. What I believe is going to be most exciting for people who play Destiny is the social experience of colliding with other people in this big world. It's not something that happens in most action games. Your choice of the character class and the character race will condition the way that character is going to evolve over time. The character that you're building over time, your character, you in the game, is the character you use everywhere. You're going to see a guy wielding the cudgel of Xanthor or the fate of all fools or whatever crazy names the writers come up with for, for these weapons and armor. and You're going to understand where they came from and what they went through to get there. In Destiny, we've gone to a three-weapon system. So we have a primary weapon slot, and that's for the very versatile assault rifle-style weapons. And then we have a special slot that's useful for, like, in the moment, this gun is easily my best option. The totally new one is the heavy slot, and that is all about causing unrealistically large amounts of damage over a very small window of time. One of my top features in the game is the new elements of cooperative play. We want them to meet different people or invite their friends into that experience. We want them to have a, a great public event that kicks off in this crossroads space where some players are moving towards a strike or other players are on a story journey. There's something really magical about running into another player, especially when you don't expect it. So you hear shots ring out and you look to the left and there's your friend. There he is, like there was no matchmaking, he just popped right in. It's all your choice. If you want to play with other players, you can absolutely do it. If you don't, you just go off on your own adventure. This game has an activity for every mood. You walk into these areas where you've got these campaign missions, you've got strikes, you've got raids, you've got public events that naturally occur in the world, and then you also have competitive multiplayer. Supers are interesting. I mean, it is that sort of raw expression of power, right? So some of them are really easy. Hey, I blow stuff up. Or the Hulk smash three other guys. You know a bomb, you're like, yeah, I'm gonna flap in the air, I'm gonna throw a sweet fireball at those guys, and those guys over there are gonna blow up. It's like, it looks like a dragon, it probably breathes fire. Getting loot is really damn exciting. <laughs> It's a satisfying feeling. What is this going to enable me to do? What did I win? What ability? How is this going to look? If we can simultaneously capture an amazing action game, but still allow players to customize it for themselves, and they can pick the path that they want to take, if we can hit all those elements, we can bottle up that lightning a second time. 